It's time now for our Angel of the Day. Today, we're looking at the Girls Embracing Mothers organization with Miss Brittany Bird. Okay, right now, uh, first of all, uh, your your name and the name of your organization. My name is Brittany Bird, and the name of the organization is Girls Embracing Mothers. Beautiful. Well, Brittany, won't you kind of talk to us uh, about your organization here, how you got started? It's a very, very interesting name, Girls Embracing Mothers. Yes, yeah, so Girls Embracing Mothers is an organization dedicated to touching the lives of young girls with mothers in prison in a way that will have a substantial impact on steering them towards successful life paths. We aim to break the cycle of negative life choices and build the mother-daughter bond. What prompted you to start this organization? How did you come uh, into this information, such a need for this? Experiencing the incarceration of my own mother. I knew that everything happens for a reason and having a strong spiritual background, um, knowing not to question God and knowing everything is in his timing. I went through a, a time when my mother was incarcerated of really asking God why. I was um, getting a master's degree, going to work for one of the largest accounting firms in the world, but my mother was in prison. And I got my answer by watching the Oprah Winfrey show, actually, and seeing an organization who catered to young girls with mothers in prison. And it was as if God was telling me, this is why. This, this is your answer. And so I knew that I went through that to, to help others. And when I did research for the Dallas-Fort Worth area, there, there was just not a program like it. Yes. And Brittany, what do young girls need when their moms are incarcerated? And uh, do you have any success stories? They need support to know that they're not alone so that they can uh, overcome the feelings of just shame and guilt that the daughters are feeling when in reality they did nothing wrong. We, we have had success stories. We take a group of 10 girls once a month to visit their mothers in prison in Gatesville, Texas. We have a four hour enhanced visitation session with the girls and their mothers where we go over a curriculum and get to eat lunch with the moms. Our first couple of visits were very, very emotional, not a dry eye when we would depart. Now, no one cries when we leave. It's always, see you next month, see you next month. It's, and it just really shows that consistency is key. These girls, like myself, when my mother was incarcerated, they love their mothers no matter what. At the end of each day, that's still mama. Yes. And and last question, uh, what does it do for their character? What does it do to help shape their future now that they can bond with mom? It gives them a lot of self-esteem, self-confidence. They know that their mothers love them no matter what. They understand that their mothers are not bad people. They made bad choices. And it, it's a difference. And just having that support of girls who are going through the same thing that they are going through really gives them an outlook on life that they are they are just not alone in this world and they can accomplish and do whatever it is in their heart that they desire we 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 aim to instill a sense of hope for the future yes and also in terms of uh the, the cycle of recidivism do you find that Unfortunately, some of the girls follow their moms, or are you able to break that cycle? Is that one of your objective, objectives? One of our objectives is to break that cycle. We, Our girls are very young, ages 7 to 11, so we're, we're hoping that they don't go down that path. Yes. And we're a new organization we just kicked off about a year ago. So we're really, really hoping to steer them in the right path towards successful life paths. And how can people find out more about your organization? By visiting our website at www.girlsembracingmothers.org. And we also have a Facebook page. You can just search the Girls Embracing Mothers and see what we're up to. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, once again, Brittany, we we just thank you so much. And, geez, this is an incredible ministry you have. And uh, may the Lord continue to bless and keep you. And congratulations, and we thank you for your time. Thank you. Bye-bye now.